all right? So it's always been a day, even in the heavens, all right? But I'm just trying to tell you that that, that one that came and walked the earth, that spirit that was there from the beginning, all right, was the same one that was into us. Because remember, we're just vessels. Our spirit lives on. We're just, or energy or whatever you want to call it. It lives on even after this body crumbles and it perishes away, right? That spirit that inhabited that man that was walking the earth, he was there from the beginning. You understand? He was part of the powers. He was part of the Allah So that's, he's not making an image of himself. That was, he was part of that structure. You understand? But that's a whole, that's what I'm saying. It's well, a whole you, different whenever, meaning. Let's just say you do line upon line, right? Okay, okay. Well, here, let, let me just read it right quick. Let me just read it. Read that. First John, I, 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 5 and 7. Right oh, yeah. But there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three that bear record in heaven. Read. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, which is a feminine entity, all right? Read. And these three are one. These three are one, meaning they agree in one. They're in one accordance, you understand? So the one that you're talking about, okay, I know, you know, with, you know, Molai, he sits alone, or, you know, he's the only one on the throne, but it's talking about that entity, because that word God goes back to the Hebrew, that's why we tell people you got to get a strong coordinates, so you just get the Hebrew word, that's Allah Hayyam, which is the powers were sitting alone, that's what it should say, you understand, so that's more than one particular entity, alright, so that's, what, that's just, you know, my point on that, go ahead. I'm, I'm saying uh, Lamar. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lamar Hobb, yes, sir. Are you Chicago. all here in Chicago? Yep, we on 91st and Jeffrey. 91st and Jeffrey. Okay. Okay. Yep. okay. I was going to say, I, 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 I came up. 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 I from the Sabbath day, like even today. Right. The book of Jubilees tells you don't use the days of the Gentiles to identify your best days. Mm. Well, don't you that. Right, right. Well, the, and you supposed to be now, about a That's why it says from one moon to the other. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. It tells you in, okay, let's go to Ezekiel 46. Six days shut. Go ahead, too. No, hold on. Okay, this you ain't gonna go there. No, no, no. Stay here, stay here, stay here. I, 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 I did no, all of that. No, I heard you. Both Yo, you. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, Lord Rakel. I just, hold on, Lord Rakel. Lord Rakel, I mean, I... Escape, though, no, we know, no, yeah. <laughs> Front man, front man right there. Hey, but see, that's why we, you know... I'll deal with you. I might deal with you on that. So listen, this is why we also have to go back to the Hebrew. Because guess what? There's two different words in Hebrew for the word moon in the Bible. Do you know that? The moon in the sky and the moon that refers to celebrate the new moons, they're two different words. The moon in the sky, that Hebrew word is Kadash, or excuse me, Yarak, all right? The moon in the sky, when you look at the luminaries, the sun, the moon, the Hebrew word is Yarak, all right? The moon, when it says celebrate the new moons, the feast days or whatever, that Hebrew word is Kadash. Do you know what Kadash means? It means new month, all right? Now. The Jubilees, because we use the Book of Jubilees. We use the Book of Enoch, all right? It tells you in the Book of Jubilees and the Book of Enoch that you're not supposed to follow the moon that's in the sky to get your calendar. It tells you that. But it tells you, you that you're supposed that to use. Line so we can we, we did. We, 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 yeah, brother, we got the whole breakdown. So I want to, you know, because it's a whole lesson to itself, but I'd love to build with you, though. I'd love to call you up and, like, you know, see where you're coming from since you said you, you know even, what I'm saying? See, even the language barrier, the most I said, listen, like in Ezekiel 3, he says, listen, I'm not sending you to a people whose language is hard to understand. This is a rebellious house. So there's not a language issue barrier where you got to go back and research. He says, listen, I'm going to step to you in the language of your captivity. Moses told you, he says, a nation that from the other side of the earth shall come upon you as swift as the evil flyer whose language you don't understand. Zephaniah 3 and 9 tells you, he says, not until these motherfuckers, the day they come in, will he institute the what? The pure language once their indignation is restarted. But right now, though, we Which know I that do understand English, why you okay, say you're going to yeah, the references exactly, because thing. we know that English is a modern who day. But, but who was there to hear Solomon and them talking it? What you mean? Who was there to actually verify the English from the dead language? Well, you know, you which we don't use Yiddish. Know the symbols. We got the archaeological. Right, right. We, we, yeah, right? we got that. But I, I just want to make it clear we don't use the Yiddish. So what I'm saying is the ancient Paleo Hebrew. I'm not using right. Yiddish. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you is, is that we're not using the Yiddish words. You know what I'm saying? Like Elohim is that Yiddish. He was using the Yiddish. My goal. 
But what I'm saying is the best the best sources you have now are the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, really? I bet he got them all. Oh, he got them all. Got them all. Got them all. That's what I'm saying. So we got them all. We got them all. But now, so when we build, I'm going to break down how we're not supposed to be following to the moon and Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, if I put it out here, you're going to have to show me. You said what? It's set by the, the, the 29 and, and the, the 29 days in the, in the months are set by the moon. No, the phases it, of the you're moon. You're right. It, it is set by the moon, but that's why we're not supposed to be following because if you follow the moon, it's 29 days, six months. It's 30 days, six more months. It's only 354 days on a complete year. The Most High, when it tells you in Jubilees, it's supposed to be 364. If you read Jubilees, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. Right. Uh, uh, new moons, when it's not full moons, new moons, where it's black and Right, but that's, we, but that's why we can't follow it at all. Those moons is talking about months. There are certain months of changes of seasons that keep us on time because the Most High tells you, you, you read Jubilees, you just brought it up. So you should know about the Sabbaths and how we keep track according to Sabbaths. Now, what's the last, how do you calculate the time of the year? What, how do you get the last day of the year? Let me just ask you. Because if you get the last day of the year, you get the first the first day right after that, right? It tells you in Jubilees and in the Book of Enoch, which the Jew referenced, that the last day of the year is equal parts night, equal parts day. You understand? That comes around twice a year. You understand? It's one in the fall and then one in the springtime. Equal parts night, equal parts day. So what you have to do is find out when's equal parts night, equal parts day. The very next day, you'll get the first day. One through seven. That's seven right there. Guess what, though? We did the calculation already. See, we've already done this. The day landed, the end of the year, landed on a Sabbath day, because that's the end of it. The first day, the first day was landed on the first day, which is Saturday night, which will be today. That's the first day of the year. So we're on, we're on right on schedule with what the Sabbath is. It's Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, based on that. Which is which is started sundown. Friday sundown is a Sabbath day. Yeah, but sundown is a which yeah, is the actual day. That's how yeah, the yeah, that's how the day. Yeah, which yeah, is the come, actual come. Passover? Oh yes, yes. Which is the actual Passover? Remember, we said this is the beginning of months unto you. So right, the right. day that you come out. That's right, right. Day. That's one. That's one. Right, with well, the 14th day at even right, 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 of the right, new right, month. Right, yeah, right, right, the 14th day at right, even. Right, so right. what I'm saying is that's how you mark the first month of the year. I mean, right, 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 yeah, it's yeah. going to be based on the first month of the year. Yeah, the same God. thing, he's going to do it again in the second Exodus. Micah 7 15, he says, according to the days of your coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto you marvelous things. Right. So I'm saying, I'm, I'm listening to you on Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no problem. Day and night, because you know that's, that varies from one place, place to another, wherever you are on the, on the yeah, well, yeah, right. But, right. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, even still, though, day still comes and night still comes, no matter where you are geographically. You know what I'm saying? So it's just going to be at certain times. You understand? So is that, day, that day is around, is it a March? That day it could be, it could vary. It's sometimes, a lot of times of it time, is in March, March. You know what I'm saying? March or April. Because that's, and really that's springtime. That's when stuff starts March, moving up. Right. You, see you understand? Earth. Exactly. That's new. That's, that's new. That's new. You right. understand? Okay. Within those three days. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, do you follow? Do you follow what, what calendar? I mean, how do you know that that's your beginning of the yeah. month? I guess. Yeah. For my calendar, I, I do astrology. Okay. You know, I do. I do with a cross to that and the, what they call the Muhammad calendar. So right now, the year for me is one thousand four hundred thirty-five. There's no crack of Avatar in my time. Okay. Well, you actually more. You know. He has some more closer than what we teach, but that's a whole other thing. I mean, what, what year we in? I mean, What's your name? Do you got a contact, man? Uh, uh, yeah. Get his yeah. mother, uh, get his mother so flyer, man. Little, I have two questions. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. But that's our brother, do man. You think I mean, the world come to see, he not going man. nowhere, man. I not, say, son. That's our brother, though, Bring man. Through, man. That's our brother, right, man. So look, Does the world come, come to an end? Well, I'm not going through nothing. I promise. Yeah, yeah. I'll say this, though, man. I'll say this because we know that. Once you in this truth and you you know you walk this life, no matter what your forefathers have done, you understand that we do teach our people. We come to the Lord, we teach our people. But if somebody you know comes in and they was like, well, this, this is the truth, I can accept that. See, the problem is a lot of you know what we call other nations or Gentiles, they don't accept what we teach them because it puts us up you know up before them. You understand? But this is my brother right here. You understand? So I'm not gonna exclude him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's helping out. Now, what if? He came to you, and he's. Uh, he, I told you that he's going to finance us to get this building for for a lot of for a lot of so-called Negroes. Oh, you know then what I would be saying. like what? You then know you what know. I was saying. No, oh, what you, I don't trust, saying. you don't trust it. Number one, number one. Before we continue, I was going to let you know. Most of my teachers come from the Mosana for Elijah Muhammad. All right. That'll let you know where. <laughs> 
my pockets come from. You know what I'm talking about. I, I understand. Okay. I understand. Can, I ask you, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Go I've ahead. I've been go out ahead. talking y'all for like. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw it. <laughs> Is it possible y'all can put down y'all religion and still teach people? That's a yes or no. Question. Well, well, we not even dealing with a religion. No, I'm just can, asking. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm asking a question. My question is, do you think that you two, and if it was a Christian here, to put down your religion? Rephrase your question because we don't have a religion. Yeah. Okay, your, your way of life. Do you want to? Your books. Oh, okay, okay. Your way of life. Uh, no, it's, it's impossible. Okay, okay. okay. so that's impossible. Okay, okay, wait, okay. okay. wait, 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 wait. wait. You, already, you, already, you already yeah. answered. Yeah, we already answered. Now, Go I'm going to tell you, I do that. So the point I'm making is that I do that. Okay. I'm in a social service agency. Been there for ten years. And I know the Black Panthers did it, and I know they did. And I asked myself, why would America kill the Black Panthers, but not kill y'all organizations? Have y'all ever asked yourself? Because most of the time, when your enemy targets one particular factor in the community, that means that's a threat. Mm -hmm. I say that to say this. Sometimes, in order to organize and bring people together, it's about getting to know them, using common knowledge, and just build it. Sometimes, some things conquer and divide people, and it creates stalemates. Like this right here, no disrespect, it's a stalemate to me. Right. By your body language, right. by your tones, by your comments. So... How you know we're not a third brother? Brother, what I just said to you was a fact. But I'm saying, wait, wait, no, what I, wait, 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 what I just, yeah. what, no, what I said, what, they but eradicated, like, no, they eradicated them. Okay. Did they not? They, no, they own people. Wait, 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 yeah, okay. Okay. Pro, okay, wait, 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 they, they let, me ask, let me ask you this question. <laughs> did they did not eradicate Fred Hampton and all of them, majority of them, to the point where they crippled the whole thing? Is that, that's a yes or no question? They killed they, the few leaders and the rest of the people were well, scattered, scattered, as usual. They're, so basically they, they eradicated them, right? Okay, so you kill a few strong people and right. the cowards run. What, so, so this right. is an every organization. And, and weren't they specifically targeted? They were specifically targeted, right? The, yeah, they okay. targeted the most intelligent ones. Yeah. Right. right. They targeted what? The, they target the most the intelligent ones, ones in the leadership, but, and the followers they scatter. Unless the followers aren't soft, then they're still here 50 years later. So, so what huh. I'm saying is right. that America target those individuals and wipe them out, almost, because and, and the they feel like they was the they was the most organized group of African descent that could move the masses of people to create a big rebellion. That's why they killed them. Uh, so now, I'm not, saying, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that you all are not, but I'm just saying that that's a fact. But what I'm saying is when they brought the people together, they didn't use the religion, or they didn't use spirituality, or they didn't use however you want to, a way of life, however you want to work. That's all I'm just saying. And that's why. And because and that's, that's because why. it creates disconnected moments. I've listened to y'all talk. I have not heard too many connected moments. I've heard more disconnected moments, and that's my opinion. But what I'm just saying is that was just my observation. I could be wrong. Yeah. Right. And again, like I sat here and listened to you for a whole hour. Okay. And you okay. talking to somebody like I'm from Inglewood, 55th. I just stay over here. I just look like this. I ain't built with all y'all. Not you indirectly. But I ain't built with all y'all. And I ain't built with a monk. I ain't built with a Buddhist. And I see a lot of similarities. But what I'm saying is, just real talk, a lot of this is constantly divided. Not saying, no, 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 I'm just saying in general. And like I'm saying, if you look at the platform, that the game was game way, and they wanted to there was more connected more than just connected more. They did, G. So here's what I'm saying. You're not competent. 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 You're Exactly. Deuteronomy 2868. You right now. The Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ships. By the way, where I spake unto thee. And thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again, read. And there you should be sold unto your enemies. There you should be sold unto your enemies. Go ahead. For bond men. 
and buying women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. No man shall do what? Buy you. No man shall buy you, which is an old cricket English word. No man shall really redeem you. So no man's gonna redeem you after this situation. That's what he need to know. You understand the Black Panthers? That they are not gonna redeem us. So that was actually prophesied. You Hey, the Most High is gonna redeem us because that's the one that put us in this. I mean, you know that. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, but no more. But here's what I'm saying though. But so what's but your nationality, though, B? We told you already, man. Nah, yo, what's your nationality, B? You gonna keep asking? Man. Thinking on me. You know, I'm not I'm one of the tribes. Me, I'm here because I believe in the tribes. <laughs> well, you got right, some. You got some in your heart good. or something, well, man. What do you think? What do you think about me? What's your nationality, man? Moorish American. What's yours? See, I gave you a straight answer. I'm a Gentile in Christ. What are you? What are you? What are you? Gentile is not a nationality. It's all right, brother Chris. You know, it really doesn't matter what I mean. You already got me sized up. You said I got brother Chris riled up. Now you tell Chris it's all right. Yo, God, I can't know his nationality. He said he's a Gentile. I'm like, what nation are you talking about? But if I ask you your nationality, you gonna tell me? I'm from the tribe of Judah, bro. All right, so then why can't I know his nationality? We just told you. He not from the tribe of Judah. He from the tribe of Edom. No, no, no. He from the tribe of Edom. Okay. Period. Cut. You yeah, got your Edom part of Israel. No, it's not. So his nationality is not Israelite? What's his nationality? It's Edomite a nation. So what do you think Christ's blood was for? You're a Semite. <laughs> That's what he is. He's a Semite, right? And you being anti Semitic. I don't know where Semite is. I, 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 I don't know where Semite is. This is, this is the no, right. Right. Oh, you got, now you, yeah. Come on. I, I'm learning what from y'all. You know, you know what anti Semite is? I know what an anti Semite is. So you know what a Semite is? It's people who hate on Moors. Mm. Because when you call yourself a Semite, you're saying that you come from a people who speak a particular no, language, and I come from those people. Now he says Semite. He says that. Now I'm trying to figure out what a Semite is. You lost. Semite. Let it be, man. What is that? No, it's a Semite. Come from Sem. I come from Kush. Stop. Stop. I come from Kush. I come from Kush. I come from Old Man Kush. I come from Old Man Kush. I come from I come from Old Man Kush. Alright, I'm I'm gonna hey, explain man. it to you. You confused. Hold on. I know how to explain it. Let me explain is, it to you. Man, not everybody's gonna get this. Semite man. is a word it, that is it. used for people who speak a particular language, the Semitic languages. Such as Ebriac. So what is you know what I'm saying? Give me some clues. You see, but I was giving it to you as you was asking me, B. Smell me? So back to <laughs> Yeah, Ugaritic, Proto Canaanite, all the way to Canaanite. You wanna talk Ebriac, what they call Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? All the way to Arabic, Aramaic, all of those languages. Sometimes too much knowledge is dangerous. <laughs> nah, it's not dangerous when you from the, when you when you from Harlem, you are, but, but but what you were saying though? So Eber, you said Ebrae. Uh, Eber, Eber uh, is the son of Shem. That's cool, but that's the language though. We talking about a language, not a people. Talking about a man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You asked me to say some languages. I gave you some languages. So now you talking so, about a man. So now, now, now. I just gave you some languages, right? Right. So you just said Hebrew. That's Hebrew. A, that's a, that's not a Hebrew. person. That's a language. You, oh, okay. I gave you a language, right? Hold on, hold on. Let's not just start this person to be like, okay, we about to go F with the more no, saying, no, 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 hold no, up. No, we ain't finna do nothing, but okay, we been, okay, okay. been out here for a minute. Too, I know. So before you, you know what I'm saying? I was out here too, God, come know, on. We, we can go okay, with you. Yeah, yeah, All right, come on then. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, okay man. but look, wait, wait, before, yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah, we go, yeah, let's get this language right here. Because language is what I do. Language is what I do. So now, Semite, Semite, Semitic, Harlem. That means that is the people okay. speaking these languages. Now, because <laughs> that your language is indigenous to me, it's my native language, then I would be considered that. Because y'all speak it, y'all are considered that. Now, when we're talking about a bloodline or a descent nature, you know what I'm saying, what's your nationality? When I'm asking you what is the political relationship between yourself and your country, I'm not asking you to tell me you're a child of God because that's not even religious. Religious being a structured system of a belief or faith system, right? For a creator or a superpower. You know what I'm saying? That, that, I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I, listen, y'all like how y'all walk, walk, walk around with the Bible, I walk around with the dictionary. I'm not playing with you. So, what when we talk about language. In the dictionary? You know, you know, you know, hold on, God. I'm asking the question, God. You no, know, I, I, I know how to speak language. So, when I. What are we talking? English. I see words. Who do you, what English. do you believe in? And I, I believe in myself. This is why I'm going to. Yeah, because I believe okay, in the most high. So, you woke up this morning? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. You woke up? Yeah, I woke up. You woke yourself up? I been up. Yeah, I, listen now, my paradigm different from yours. Yes, I did wake myself up. You, you did? You your nationality. Uh -huh. You were asking your nationality. Word right now? Ask me. Oh, him. Why you set me up like that? What's your nationality? You see how I do? That's how the Israelites do in Chicago, man. Yeah. Shem Yah. 
You see, you he see how? Keep going. You want me? No, keep no, going. no, no, no. That was great. You see, he didn't hesitate. He just gave me an answer. Do it again. Shim, y'all. You heard? Did you hear him say, "I'm a child of God" and all this other stuff? Yeah, man. No, no. But I was asking, do you have a country, a decent nature? Your parents, anything from any other country besides America? Israel. Now, that's a country that your people descend from. That's our homeland. Well, that's a homeland now. A homeland is not necessarily a country, y'all. Bible. Okay, see, that's see. in the Bible. Okay, but we said a country. You since, said a homeland. Since you have so many questions, so you say stop. Israel is just like you kept asking them, right? You're a country man, right? If you yes. got <laughs> okay. your own land with your own banking <laughs> system and your own cars, Hold on, now if I had that, why would I be wasting listen, my time? Listen, listen, listen. This is what you was talking about. I'm about this building. I'm about that building. I didn't say what buy. You I said inherit. Okay, you pay okay, to but the words. what good would it do you? Uh, then I could tell y'all to go in there and Bro. we don't have to go nowhere. And then they come and bomb it, and then you over. <laughs> and if you they bomb, no, nah, if they bomb it, I'm That's bombing back. That's what trying to tell you on Black Wall Street. No, Bro. if you bomb me, under the curse, I'm bombing you back. It's not gonna happen. No, go. And tell no, the. Man, until if your some, comes back, God, bro. if somebody, God, if somebody, you left the curse. God, here's what I'm saying. If somebody bomb me, I'm bombing them back. Bro, whoa, hold on. This where's is, your bomb? Hold on, whoa, whoa. You're right. I don't got bombs. Do you In have fact, a bomb? hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me redeem myself. Y'all already on the terrorist list. I'm not bombing a damn thing. Did you make a fire? Hell no, I don't got firecrackers. Those are illegal in New York. I don't got those either. How you gonna buy I don't have none of that stuff. I don't have no weapons, no incendiaries. Y'all almost got me messed up up in here. I'm not blowing nothing up. I'm not bam, boom, nothing that. I can't even tell time. They arrested an Asiatic brother for making a clock and taking it to school. I can't tell time. How about that one? We are destroyed. Okay, yeah. It's not more, man. It's not more. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, man. What is uh? Okay, so that's where you, I mean, that's where you, but, but, you know, but you your, they be mad at me too. Right, right, right. You do your own research outside of it. Right, right, right. I, I, I learned a lot of them. Okay. Yeah, a lot you want me to tell these what? Israelite. Uh, Israelite. Uh, Good luck, Mo. First brother I met was Israelite was Brother Israel. He was at 26 in California. That made me go into become a Moorish American. I need finances. We need to raise some money for it. Don't worry about it. I work. The girl put me out. I need some finances for the child. And I'm going to make sense. This was like when the first brother turned me on to the truth. Brother Israel. He was 50, 50 years. Man, we will see what we can do, man. I mean, I can't say we're going to change the living situation. Remember, we're not a 503. We're not associated with the government. So, I mean, Let's go back to the money. Let's see who took it. Deuteronomy 1. These are the words of Moses spake unto all Israel on the side of Jordan in the wilderness. Did you hear? I'm asking you a question. Did you hear my question when I asked? Could both parties put the books down and be able to teach the people? You heard the response was no, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I get that. Okay. So he chose. So. At that time, because that's who he was speaking to. Well, that's what he was at. That's who Moses brought out of Egypt. That Israel. How can you build a relationship with somebody if you don't even know them? He understood your strength. You can't build a relationship with somebody until you get to know them as a person. Absolutely right. So, if you want to build a rapport with somebody, you have to acknowledge their individuality, their intellect, and their, and also their emotional state. That's how I get to know them. Well, their nationality, what you're saying. But I can't do that if there's a barrier. That barrier is that. It's highlight. Because I got to go to Maybe that religion, maybe that spiritual practice. Or maybe the book. 
is those are those red letters that teaches me lessons that I need to share with others. That's a barrier. Because if I can't communicate with you past that, then that's a wall. Okay. So that means I can't even acknowledge your intellect until you acknowledge what I'm teaching. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but So you mean to tell me that both parties are willing to keep a wall up? Well, I, I, that was their, they said. I know what they said. I know what they said. Yeah, I know we didn't. That's not right. The brother said that too. That was on the side. She said you. you. I asked them both. That was a question for both sides. I heard yes. I could be wrong. But I heard yes. But even for one to say that, still. So I can't build a rapport with you. Unless I'm coming through my religious or my spiritual That's what you, that was your that's, that's the rationale I heard. So how can you even get to know my intellect or my spirit or my emotional state? If that barrier is there or that traps there. That's all I want to say. So how many how many disconnected moments does it take for a person to understand in order for you to have a conversation with me? You got to you got to get get to know my individuality, my intellect, and my emotional state. So you mean to tell me that in order for me to be eye to eye with you, or to speak the same language, or to move in the same body language as you, or to give off the same emotional stimulus, I have to speak your spiritual practices or your religious practices or act them out or think them out that's the only way you can build a report with me that's what I heard I could be wrong but that's what I heard if you're telling me that